Our people, we suffer from self-hatred. We suffer from low self-esteem. And the root cause of that is this image right here. We're told that this is the image of God, this is the image of our Lord and Savior, and this is the, the perfection of beauty. Isaiah 13 verse 2. Isaiah 13 verse 2. Still let all things be done decently and in order. The officer brought out, we're commanded by Christ to go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in. Now our people sitting there want to stay indoctrinated, celebrating Christmas, celebrating Thanksgiving, doing all those different things. I'm glad that thing has been taken down now. Right. Shut that down for the rest of the day. No buying and selling on the most I got. Especially no damn Christmas. Read that. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 2. Lift me up a banner upon the high mountain. The most High God has commanded us to lift a banner up upon the high mountain. She says she don't want to debate about the Bible. We're not debating about the Bible at all. We're lifting the Bible up in this wicked kingdom here. Read. Right. And sent the voice. Our job is to exalt the voice. She wants to be decently in order. Here's your order right here. Exalt the voice and do what? Unto them. Unto who? Unto them. Exactly. Read. Shake the hand. So we're shaking the hand of our people today. That's right. Not in hatred, but in love. Right. We're rebuking our people, telling them to wake up, learn who you are, and come back to God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. And it's a sad day. When our enemy is our own women. Right. Our own sisters. And what's the Bible say they're going to do though? Read. That they may go into the gates of the nobles. So they can go on their cell phone and call the government and the police saying, hey, there's some black people out here, black men out here saying, hey, brothers and sisters, start marrying each other. Brothers and sisters, stop killing one another. Brothers and sisters, love who you are. Brothers and sisters, stop raping each other. Brothers and sisters, stop selling drugs to one another. Starting to love God. You want to call the cops on that? You want to stop that in your community? And you wonder why we stay destroyed as a people. You wonder why the China man can have his shop in your neighborhood praying off your self-hatred. You wonder why that happens. But the most High God ain't tell us to leave nothing. The black woman wants to stop this. Read it from the top again, though. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 2. Lift me up the banner upon the high mountain. So the Bible is being lifted up out here in Allendale, South Carolina. Read. That's right. Exalt the voice. And we are exalting our voice. It's done decently and in order, too. Right. We're screaming at the highest pitch that we can. Right. Because God told us to do that. That's, That's right. the order that God gave us. Read. Unto them, shake the hand. And we're rebuking you now. Wrap that nonsense up. Knock it off. Read. That they may go into the gates of the noble. Well, the most I know is people, huh? He knows his people are going to be against you to the point where they're going to call the police. Read. I have commanded my, my sanctified ones. So the most I God has commanded his sanctified ones. That's who we out here for. We're not, when it comes to the most I God's work, understand something. We don't follow NASA. We don't follow the so-called white man when it comes to doing the most high God's work. We have been sanctioned by God to come out here and teach our people to come out from amongst this garbage. And that's what we're going to do. Read. I have also called my mighty ones. The most high God has called his mighty ones as well. That's your angels. So if you think you can go against this, you're dead wrong. We can pass the ball with angels right now. Read. For my anger. Even them that rejoice in my highness. Because there are people 
and there are spiritual beings that rejoices in the Most High God's highness. Right. And let's get back to what we were bringing out. We're dealing with the color of Jesus Christ. Bring it out. Jesus Christ has the same blood running through his veins as the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans got through their veins. Bring it out. The problem is our people don't care. But once you find out that Jesus Christ looked just like you, he's going to save you, and he's only come for you, then maybe you'll change your spirit and try to come up and dialogue with us and learn more about your heritage. Right. Learn more about your people. Hey, you Give me Jesus Christ, Revelations chapter 1. Revelations chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So we are here to reveal Jesus Christ to the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, the true Jesus Christ, not the white man Jesus that have you prepared to celebrate Christmas. If you really deal with Christmas, our people would understand that that is a celebration of your demise. That is a celebration of your destruction. It's no different from Thanksgiving to the Native Americans. But because our people don't study, because our people don't learn and don't want to learn, our people are going to sit there and reject this word here. This is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Read. Which God gave unto his son to show things which must shortly come to pass. So the Most High God gave the revelation of Jesus Christ to his servants. We are to show what Jesus Christ looks like to the servants of the Most High God. Right. The true servants of God is the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. Get straight to the point. Verse 14. Verse 14. Yeah. His head and his hands. We're white right like wool. Jesus Christ's head and hairs were white right like wool. Jesus Christ had woolly hair. Right. He didn't have long, stringy hair like our sisters loved, to, like, like that picture on the point of that beauty store right there. Then our sisters burned their scalp to get. Then our sisters put poison in their hair to get. It said Jesus Christ had that woolly hair. Right. Read. Like this sister right here, read. That's what is snow and it's us. How you doing, sis? We're going over the true color of Christ today. What color is Jesus Christ, sis? He's black. You believe that? What does that mean to you? So where does this image come from? Come closer, come closer. Not going We're here for our people. We're not here to fight. We're not here to do it. We're here to show our people who we are to help our community. Right. Come here, sis. What's this right here? No, don't put it on the camera. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Come here. You're not going to be on the camera. What image is this? Who they say this man is right there? Why do they say he's Jesus? You got a blonde hair, blue-eyed Jesus. Right? Why do you think they say that? Is that image important? It's not important to those who believe that he's black. No. Okay. It's important to them. It's important to them, right? So what does the Bible say Jesus Christ color is? You believe he's black, where'd you hear that from? Your grandma? Let me show you where your grandma saw that, and then we're gonna deal with something right now. Says, what's your nationality? African-American. African -American. Come here, look at the sign. We got you looking at two signs right now, you're gonna be busy, okay? African-American. Who told you you was an African-American? Were the African-Americans not considered black a few years ago? Before, before the, the term African-American became finalized in the 1980s? We were black, we were Negroes, remember that? Right. We were colored people, remember that? Right. Why is it that our nationality continue to change? Because it's not our true nationality, sis. That's right. You see the sign right here? This is what your slave masters, the same people, turn it around again. The same people that, that brought us over here called us African-American. Right. You understand? You can turn it back around. What we're showing you is that the so-called African-Americans, you're actually an Israelite from the tribe of Jew. Right. You understand that? You're an Israelite from the tribe, you're a Jew, just like Jesus Christ was. Right. And in order for you to be the same people as Jesus Christ, let me show you what Christ looks like. Read that, verse 14. Verse 14! Oh. His head and his hands were white like wool! Now, who had woolly hair on his earth, sis? Yeah. Oh. Point to yourself. You have woolly hair? Do they, is woolly hair considered beautiful in our community? No. It's not, right? Why do you keep your wool? That's what you choose to do. Let me. So, strike one. So, Jesus Christ could not have this type of hair, right? Could he? The Bible.
Bible says he's hair like wool. Right. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. The whites of his eyes were red, because Christ drunk wine in moderation. Right. Read. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. Like unto fine brass. And he said, now Christ's feet was like unto fine brass. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. Now said, that brass burned in a furnace. What color does brass turn when it's burned in a furnace? No. What color is anything that you burn in a furnace? It turns dark, right? Dark skin. You're a dark skin sister. But right. so guess what that means? Jesus Christ wasn't no light skin brother. Right. Jesus Christ wasn't wasn't no Arab looking brother. Jesus Christ was a dark skin brother, just That's like right. you, sis. That's right. Just like you. Now let me ask you a question now with our with our brothers and sisters today. The really hair and the real dark skin. Is that considered beautiful? Why not, sis? Flying. Yeah, yeah. It's oh. not, right? So, so you, you have dark skin. You're dark. Huh? And you have woolly hair. How did you grow up? Tell them to pull over. What did people do to you? They used to do what? Just have them go. They used to pick at you for being dark skin. They used to pick at you for having hair just like Christ. How did that make you feel, sis? Did you like it? Do you understand that all of our dark skinned sisters with woolly hair go through that same thing and that can actually push people to self hatred to a point where they don't want to look like how God created them anymore? That's why that's the store. Call them a ridicule. Yes. That's why that's the that store. That's why that store. Who owns that store, sis? Who owns that King Beauty store? Does your people own the who? The Arabs, the Japanese, the Chinese, all of other nations own that store. And what do you think? Why do you think those stores? become so lucrative in our community. Change. Because we're told that that woolly hair and this dark skin is not beautiful. As a matter of fact, we're told that this is the image of beauty right here, and that's what God looks like, and you're to hate yourself. They prey on our self-hatred. Let's see what color Christ is again. Read that again. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his head were white like wool. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. You burn brass in a furnace, it comes very dark. So what color was Jesus Christ, sis? He was a black man, a dark-skinned brother. You understand that? But now, Christ looked like that. It's obvious his father had to be God. What color is God? God had to be black too, right? Right. What kind of hair did the Most High God have? Right. I'm going to do this for a reason. If you got a couple minutes, I want you to walk with me. What, what kind of hair did the Most High God have? Yeah, of course, here. Is that in the Bible? Is the image of the Most High God in the Bible? Does God image matter? Read that. Daniel chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit. Before all days. It says the ancient of days. Who's the ancient of days? Who's before all days? God, right? It says the ancient of days did sit. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. So guess what? We're not dealing with a puff of smoke here. Right. We're dealing with someone that had a garment on. Right. So the most high God had to have a body. Right. The problem with our people is we don't have no image of God in our minds anymore. The other nations do. What, what does Buddha look like? Who are the Buddhists? The Chinese, right? Does Buddha look like them? Buddha looks like a Chinese man. Right. Like Krishna, those, 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 those Elam, the Elamite gods, the Indian gods, what they, they, do? they look just like them. What does a black man's god look like to you? Why doesn't your god look like you? Why does it never matter? The Bible is showing you what your god looks like, and he looks just like you, sis. Read that again. Whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head. He said, now talking about God's hair now. Read. Like the pure rule. God's hair was like the what? Like the pure rule. So your God had hair like the pure rule, just like his son, Jesus Christ. That's right. Just like you and just like every other so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. That's right. That hates their hair. That hates their skin. That hates their people and hates themselves. But God looks just like you. Right. Does God determine that as beautiful? You 
think so? Let's see what the Bible says about that. Give me Ezekiel 16. I'm, I'm dealing with you for a second, sis. But what we're showing our people is the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are actually the children of Israel. You are God's chosen people. You understand that? And you were created a specific way by God. Check this out. Hey. That's what's all back with gold and silver. And that raiment, and that raiment was a fine linen. Most like God, he dressed as well. Read. And uh, brought it work, and thou did eat flag fowl, and honey, and oil, and thou was exceeding beautiful. Most like God said that his people were exceedingly beautiful. Exceedingly beautiful to the point where a dark skinned sister like yourself, with woolly hair that we call nappy, should never ever think of herself as ugly. Or never think that they don't look beautiful. And should never be teased for that dark skin. If our minds was right, it says you was exceedingly what? Beautiful. And thou didst prosper into a kingdom. And thy renown went forth among the heathen for thy beauty. Your renown went forth among the heathen. The heathen is the other nation. That same Chinaman now that basically profits off of your own self-hatred. Our own self-hatred. Your renown went forth for your beauty. Right. They know that. Right. They know that. Read. For it was perfect. It, oh. it was what? For it was perfect through my comeliness. It says it was perfect through God's comeliness. What kind of hair did God have, sis? He had coarse hair. What color was God's skin and his son's skin? They were black skin. Yes, so right. it says your, your beauty was perfect through God's comeliness. That means what's up with your hair? It's perfect. Right. It's beautiful. That's right. What's up with your dark skin that people used to tease you for and call you blackie and run around at midnight or I see your eyes when the dark side. Hey, we you hear all those jokes? I'm the darkest one in my household. Grew up amongst all light skinned people. And I heard all the black jokes. You understand? So we know what it is. But the most like God said it was what? Read it again. For it was perfect through my comeliness, which I had put upon thee, said the Lord God. So God put that on you, sis. You were born with that, right? Will Beyonce say them say, I woke up like this? Can you change that? We try to. I'm going to show you how you try to. Because you, you're doing all right right now, but you try to. Read. But thou didst trust in thy own beauty. Because we, did, we trusted in our own beauty. We started creating our own image of what we thought was beautiful in our eyes. We no longer wanted to go after God's beauty. We know we wanted to look like the other nations. We wanted to put the wigs on and the weaves on. Guess what else we wanted to do, sis? What do you think I'm about to say? What else did we want to do to our beauty? I'm looking at you. What else did we do? You got the woolly hair and the dark skin. What, what attribute? What's what's beautiful? They, they want to say blondes have more fun. Oh. Right? So, I mean, I'm being real. We're being frank, right? Why Your hair ain't blonde. What color? Why you dyed it, sis? It's not blonde. What color is it? What color did you try to make? Oh, no. This is the color I want. This is burnt orange. Burnt orange. Who has burnt orange hair? Who has brown hair? No. Oh. Who has light brown hair? Mel Gibson, all these other people right here. Look at this guy. That's about the same color, right? I mean, you know, we want to be, be real, right? Why did you do that? Because you like color, right? Let me show you how God feels about that color in our hair, right? Because remember now, God created you perfect through his comeliness. Right. Meaning, the way the most High God created you was the perfection of beauty. He says you were perfect through his comeliness. Right? Get that in Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 13, verse 29. Let's see what the most like God feels about, first of all, this image here. They say blondes have more fun, our sisters. Right there, they want the long, flowy, flowy weight hair, right? The thin hair, right? Read. If a man or a woman have a plague upon the head or the beard. Now they're dealing with a plague on their head, right? Read. Then the priest shall see the plague. And behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair. Be in it a what? A yellow thin hair. What color is that? Oh, we got another one. Read. A, a what? A yellow thin hair. A yellow thin hair. What is God? Hey, everyone even like that. Wait, wait. 
No, no, we ain't, ain't putting you on the spot. No, no, sis. Hey. Wait, wait, what we're trying to show our people is that our sisters were, were raised to not really love the texture of their hair or the color of their hair. And they, they, they were brought up to do this. Give me um, um, Envy, Proverbs 3. Yep, three Give me this. One. Let me show you this real quick, sis. You came at the right time. No matter of fact, finish that off. Go back to Leviticus. All those batteries down? Finish that off. Leviticus chapter 13, verse 30. Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair. It says the plague is a yellow thin hair deeper than the skin, right? Read. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. Then the priest shall pronounce him, un pronounce him unclean. Now, what we're showing our people, sis, sis, pay attention. So, what we're showing our people is our people do this. I'll get Proverbs 3. Our people, we suffer from self hatred. We suffer from low self esteem. And the root cause of that is this image right here. We're told that this is the image of God, this is the image of our Lord and Savior, and this is the, the perfection of beauty. Blondes have more fun. Let me get a light skinned girl with long, wavy hair out there to, 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 to twirl in my music video and all those different things. When the dark skinned sisters were really here, what happens to them? They get teased, right. they get ridiculed, right. to the point where they don't love themselves. Right. And even though they may feel happy, that low self-esteem sinks in. To the point where they want to do this. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. Then we start to envy our oppressor. We start to envy the way our oppressor, the same people, turn that back around. The same people that brought us over here is by this means of transportation. Did this happen to our people? Bring it out. The same people that did this to our mothers, our daughters, our fathers, our sons, right? Rape, rob, murder. Right. The same people that did that to us, what are we doing? Read it again. Envy thou not the oppressor. God is commanding you not to envy them, not to want to be like them, not to want to look like them. Right. And nothing. Why? Because he created you in his communists. Right. He God is the dark-skinned brother. Right. Jesus Christ was a dark skinned brother. Right. That woolly hair is perfect beauty. That's right. Learn to love yourself so that these other nations there don't take you as a prey anymore. Right. And they'll benefit off you. But first it comes back to learning who you are. Now I'm going to ask you all a question now. You understand that, sis? So do you take that as hatred? You think we hate you by bringing that out? Why do you think we brought that out? So you know that you can start applying. Why? Because you are the Israelites according to the Bible. You're God's chosen people. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.